So this is part two. Let me explain what this we just did was part one with it. So I want you to imagine this part right here. This is your computer. Just use text pad, pad right here. And when I say, I want to call this your computer. This could be a home workstation class that actually you're, you're at right now. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is you're going to make a request. This request comes from here. You make a request. Request is what I mean is, is you go in and you type in the domain in the web browser. Okay, so you basically type in this request that you did from here. So I'm, I'm going I'm to use this depiction as uh, arrow <coughs> that you're making this request right now. Let me drop down the size of this font a little bit so I can I can actually work right now with it. So I'll make that request. Let me move this to about right here with it. And I want to actually and that's gonna actually make this request like this. Where does this re request go to? Well it hits what's called the DNS name server. So the d domain name server, this is your domain name server. Let me tell you what that is. Domain name server. So this domain name server, what you're looking at, crank up this font here. Just got cut off here. I'm sorry. It's this thing. All right. Let me call this thing domain name server. Okay. <clears throat> also known as the DNS server with. Okay. So you got this domain name server that's going here. And it's here at this point right here it's going to actually change it to this address into a number, some sort of octet number. All right. So that's the second part that actually takes place in here is that what you're going to see in this domain name server, number two, change to some what's called IP, Internet Protocol. And it becomes what I'll, I'll make this up. It's some sort of domain. Let's say ecampus. That the cccd.u becomes. I'll make something up. It looks something like this. Something like that. Okay. So some IP number, IP static IP address, and it redirects the the user to the actual web page that goes to it as well. So I'll take another arrow from here, and it's going to go to. Whoa, that's not an arrow. Okay, so it's going to actually point to wherever this hosting takes place with it. <laughs> so this is another server that that's going to take place from here with it. Now, this is where this web server it's being hosted. GoDaddy, anything that you are familiar with out there, most of the businesses with it. So this is the web. I'll just call this a web hosting company that hosts the web page with it. <clears throat> so one, two, and then it returns back to you to give you access to the web page with it. So what actually takes place here is, let's see if I can find an arrow. From here back to here. So let me flip this arrow around. Use the other this here. Let me use this here. There you go. So this goes back to here through the DNS. It tells you to go back to and let you to see 
here. Back, back and forth traffic with this. So this is what we call from here to here, meaning from your computer to the web hosting company and back and communication back and forth is basically how the request and how you get to see the web pages with it. Now, <clears throat> one of the things I want to, let me, let me just put in a little terminology with it. So this whole process that you're looking at here, this is what's called the front end. development. All right. So you as a webmaster covers everything up to this point. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me pause this.